Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Gary, the Bearded Woodworker. Thank you for joining me today. In this episode, we're going to make a Valhalla ladder or a driftwood ladder. Now, the story goes, and I'm not sure if this is true or not, there's not much really uh, research that I'm finding online, that um, Valhalla is the Hall of the Fallen. And uh, what Viking explorers used to do is they would gather uh, driftwood and little charms and pieces they would find on their explorations and they would come home and they would turn them into these ladders and the longer the ladder was the more exploring they did and the closer they got to Valhalla which uh, is the place where Odin would house the dead whom he um, deemed worthy of dwelling with him so throughout the years we've picked up little driftwood pieces uh, and got little shells and stuff. I even have a rock with a hole in it. It's really kind of simple to make. See, some of these shells even have holes in it. So we're going to use, uh, you can use twine. We're going to use some heavy duty uh, fishing line and I'm going to show you how to make a Valhalla ladder. I've actually never made one before either, uh, but I think they're really cool and I think this will make a really great gift. So I'm gonna use this good stout one for the bottom. We're gonna drill holes in all these driftwood pieces, um, but I think I'll put some shells in between some of these driftwood pieces. Uh, I have all different kind of sizes here. I'm just gonna lay them all out. There's no rhyme or reason what I'm doing here. It's just really aesthetics and how you like it. I don't even need to use all of these. Um, put that guy right in there. Use a small one. All right, let's see that. We'll, um, See how that turns out. A couple ways you could do this. You can use a hand drill and if you have a drill press of course you can use that. I'm going to mostly use the drill press because uh, I think it's going to be quicker. I'm going to show you how to do a couple of them with a hand drill and then I think I'll take it over to the drill press. finish the rest. So it's going to go in the middle of each one of these. Now, can I use the same bit for a shell? I don't know. I'm not using the hole because I want to have some Look at that, it worked. I wanna have something solid so I'm not pushing it through the hole or, or breaking it. Well, I didn't have the right kind of fishing line. I had four pound and six pound line, which I think this would do. It's not gonna be that heavy, but for $3, I went down to Ace Hardware and bought 25 pound line just to have it 
little stronger than it needs to be. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this in, out, and I'm gonna wrap it around and go back in. and wrap it around. My goodness. Around this way again. It goes around the whole thing. And then I'm going to tie it off. All you fishermen out there, go ahead and use your little fisherman's knot. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fisherman, so I'm just going to kind of loop it in a couple of times like you're tying a regular knot. And then I'm going to pull it tight. And that should do just fine. I'm just gonna pull what I think I'll need with some excess. And just start fishing. Haha, <laughs> fishing. <laughs> start stringing, start putting things through the holes. So as I'm editing this video, I notice that I don't have footage of my hanging mechanism. All I did, and I showed it, but I just didn't hit record, I guess, was take a washer and I wrapped the fishing line through it a couple of times and then tied it off. So you have a nice little hook that it can go over a nail or it's a, a hoop, I guess, it can go over a nail or over uh, a hook of some sort. So it makes it a lot easier to hang it and take it off during a windstorm or whatever. So. And when you hang it up, you can kind of move some of these sticks. And with that uh, hook on the end of it, I'm gonna call this project done really easy simple build that anyone can do a uh, drill with a drill bit and some uh, fishing line and you've got yourself well of course uh, you get some driftwood and some nice dorn pieces and you got yourself a bahala ladder thank you guys for watching if you have any questions of course leave it down in the comments below i will answer them as quickly as i can um, this one is going to be a gift for my mother-in-law. She owns a log cabin, and I think this would look great hanging outside. She has a nice, huge wraparound porch on her log cabin. I think this would look really nice dangling there, adorning her porch. So, uh, Merry Christmas, mother-in-law. <laughs> it's the Bearded Giants mom. Um, if you want to see more content, if you like what you see here, of course, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Go to my channel. Check out a few more of my other uh, videos out there. So again, I'm Gary, the Bearded Woodworker. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys again. And uh, check out this video.